What's up, people? Welcome to another episode of Baseball Talk on Rojas Media. We are continuing with our top five at each position, and we're doing left field today. Also, I'm not going to go through every single position right now, uh, the ones that I've done prior, but if you haven't caught the uh, everything from the catchers to the center fielders, go around the diamond. I still haven't done pitchers. I still haven't done left fielders, and I might, if I have time before the season starts, do designated hitters as well for the heck of it. So I'll have those uh, the links... Uh, to those videos in the description box if you haven't caught those already. Uh, and if you have already, thank you for watching. And um, so let's get to the top five left fielders in Major League Baseball. And if you've, uh, you know, if you've watched the, the videos prior, you know that we start off with our two honorable mentions and then we get to our top five. So let's start off with honorable mention number one with the left fielders in baseball. Number one, Mark Hanna. Mark Hanna, one of the more underrated players in baseball to me. He doesn't put up like the flashy flashy. He's not hitting 40 bombs like Stanton and Judge and he's not, you know, he's not stealing bases like Whit Merrifield or Starling Marte or something like that. He's not doing anything crazy, but he is uh you know, when it comes to on base and slugging percentage, two of the most important offensive stats in baseball, uh, he is 24% above league average when it comes to on base percentage. Uh plus slugging. Um, since 2018, he's been, uh, one of, uh, you know, he's above league average. He's a 24% above league average is pretty good. So Mark Hanna, um, look, he just got a two year, 26, uh, and a half million dollar contract with the Mets. Uh, you know, the Mets see the value in him. Uh, they're seeing the value that I see in him. And, uh, you know, look, I'm, I'm a Phillies fan. So I hope Mark Hanna is terrible for the Mets, but at the same time, good signing for the Mets, uh, Mark Hanna. One of the better left fielders in baseball. Honorable mention number two. Somebody that I'd like to say uh, is one of the more fun younger players in baseball, especially on a team that has a bunch of, uh, you know, they have a young crop of uh, incredible players. Chicago White Sox. And I'm talking about Eloy Jimenez. Eloy Jimenez. Look, he won a silver slugger in 2020 in the shortened season. Um, I believe it was his rookie season in 2019 where he hit like 30 home runs and, uh, you know, had a really good power hitting season because that's what he can do. He's a great power hitter, and he he meshes so well in that Chicago White Sox lineup. Um, for him, hopefully he stays healthy. That's why I don't have him higher because he hasn't been able to stay healthy. Uh, you know, last year he missed uh, about like 70% of the season, I think. Um, but what I've seen from his career so far is he's going to be an incredible player. Um, to for him going along with Tim Anderson and, uh, you know, the pitchers like Dylan Sees, Lucas Giolito. Um, Mancada, uh, Luis Robert, my gosh, uh, he's a part of that young crop in Chicago that looks like they're going to be fun for a long time. Uh, so let's get to the top five, Jesse Winker coming in at number five, uh, him and Nick Castellanos, I think Castellanos is technically a right fielder, right? I mean, I did the video, so I, it's right. He was a right fielder. Um, him and Nick Castellanos, they were an MVP duo for about three months of the season. I think I did I think I did a an MVP duo video on them in like May because they were so hot to start the season. They were so unbelievably hot. Obviously they weren't able to sustain that over 162. I mean it's hard to do. Um plus Winker had some oblique injuries. Um and that's probably why I don't have him a little higher. Maybe he puts up better numbers in twenty one if he stays healthy. Uh or not better numbers, but you know, he accumulates, you know, uh more extra base hits and uh, home runs, whatever. But, uh, you know, I looked at his numbers between 2020 and 2021, where it was basically an 162 game span where it was 164 games, but whatever. Uh, and his slash line, 292, 392, 552 with the, uh, 945 OPS and 316 total bases. Good player, good player. He just has to, um, hopefully he can stay healthy over a a full 162 going forward because Jesse Winker is a really fun player to watch along with Castellanos who's probably not going to be a red next year and we'll see um we'll see what the reds do uh, going forward but number four big man big man I don't mean like tall but like just big huge <laughs> look at his biceps Tyler O'Neill the power he possesses like, we always knew he was a great fielder. He's, he's won gold gloves in back-to-back seasons in 2020 and 2021, I believe. Uh, I might be wrong on that, but I, I know he has two gold gloves. The power he possesses, 34 home runs last year. 
Uh, I think there was a month where he went absolutely off. I forget what month it was, but he went absolutely off. 34 homers on the season. Um, Tyler O'Neill, you got to put him up there in top five left fielders. To go with the, the fielding and to go along with the power, I think that together he's one of the better left fielders in baseball right now. Tyler O'Neill is really fun to watch. Uh, he's a muscular man, uh, you know, entertaining player to watch. And, uh, yeah, Tyler O'Neill coming in at number four. Number three. Uh, talk about fun and exciting players to watch. Even more fun and exciting players. Randy Rosarena. Is there a lot I had to say about him? Uh, it's weird because he won Rookie of the Year this year. Because we, like, look back at 2020 and it's like, you know, all that stuff he did in the postseason. It's like we forgot that, like, technically this year was his rookie season. Because he only played, like, 10 regular season games last year. And then he played, uh, you know, all those... You know, all those games in the playoffs and set the the home run record in the playoffs for a guy that technically wasn't even his rookie season. It's insane. Randy Rosarena, uh, just super exciting. I think he stole home in the playoffs this year. And if it wasn't the playoffs, it was regular season, but he stole home. He stole home. Who's doing that now? He stole home. 2021 Rookie of the Year. Uh, just super exciting, man. The, the entertainment value of Randy Rosarena, his personality to go along with the way he plays the game. Love the way he plays the game, baby. Uh, and, you know, the postseason record with 10 home runs and 29 hits and 20 games during the 2020 playoffs. That's the exact stat, by the way, which is insane. We all remember that. Um, Randy Rosarena, look, super exciting. Got to be in your top three right now as long as as far as uh, left fielders go. Number two, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe a couple years ago I'd have him in this list, at least this high. Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber kind of just... You know, we knew he was a good player with the Cubs, but like, man, he's gone to other teams. Remember that? Remember this season with the Nationals where he had that month where he hit like how many home runs and how many straight games? Unbelievable. Uh, you know, he 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 was in Chicago, helped them win a World Series. He uh, you know, in Washington, he was there a short time, but he did his thing. I mean, he wasn't the reason why they were losing. Uh, and then in Boston, man, he was crucial for Boston to get into the playoffs, and he was unbelievable in the playoffs. Uh, Kyle Schwarber, just uh, his ability, his power hitting, and his uh, ability to get on base. He, I, he's in my top two right now. So, number one, kind of like, even when I said this, I was like, is he? But like, in my mind, he is. Michael Brantley. He isn't. And, and talk about like, I was, you know, I was saying earlier with Mark Cannon, the flashy stats. Just as like, far as being flashy, like Michael Brantley is the farthest thing from being flashy flashy but he's been one of the better hitters in baseball since he's really he's coming to the league uh, I look back at his numbers since 2014 his like his slash line it's like he's hit, he, hit, he hits over 300 he has a good on base percentage um, I mean he's not a huge power hitter but the, he does possess some power but the fact that he's just one of the the uh the one of been one of the best hitters in baseball over the past seven years and you know it doesn't look like he's slowing down he's just been a consistently good hitter and for me, that that puts him above all these other names that I've named. Now, some of the some of these guys have the chance uh, to be a better player than Michael Brantley, like Winker. I think Jimenez definitely, um, Rosarena. They have the chance to be in the top three, or uh, Rosarena's aren't in the top three, but to be in the upper echelon for a long time. But the way that Brantley has done it consistently over, you know, over the last decade, like you have to. I mean, if there's someone, you know, if I if I'm picking from these guys right here, Jimenez with the injuries, Winker too, uh, you know, O'Neill's only you know been in the league for a short time. Same with Rosarena, uh, like Brantley, I would take Brantley right now if I had that option because just how it consistently have a good. I I know from his body of work, I know that I can rely on him uh, to be the player that he really can be uh, and be one of the best hitters in baseball as far as you know average. Where I know average isn't as important as it used to be, but batting average still. Uh, you know, it matters to a certain extent in my mind. Um, and and you know, you know, on base percentage, it that that's the one that you know it's that really matters, and he has that too. Um, so I really like Brantley. Um, also, you know, a solid fielder. Uh, so I I'd have to put Michael Brantley number one right now, man. It's weird because Brantley's not the most flashy guy. He doesn't have a lot of personality or nothing like that. But you know, super consistent hitter. Uh, in this age of baseball, so that's my top five. I want to know your top five. Let me know. Let me know on Twitter at Roaz underscore media underscore. Uh, let me know in the YouTube comment comments, obviously. Um, and also I'm on Instagram at Rojas underscore media. So that was my top five. Let me know what you think.